welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happenings YouTube Atheist Community and Stick and Fun. Yeah, I'm smoking a real cigarette. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's really not a subject, is it? Alright, it's crap. That's crap. Just ignore that crap. Smoking video. Smoking's evil, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Jeez, I still miss them though. I just, you know. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm the universe having a cigarette. Uh, yeah. And it's really, really enjoying it. Anyway, so I admit I'm happy right now. Right this minute, I'm happy. Life is good. But it's, once the cigarette's gone, it's going to suck again. You can't maintain the good. Just falls apart, falls right through your fingers. Anyway, video. Sorry, I'm doing a direct upload because YouTube sucks and I should do sucky videos on YouTube. Only sucky videos. Piero's probably right. You know, his last video he did some sort of, you know, he fucked with the sound, fucked with the image, fucked with every aspect of the video. It was completely unwatchable. And maybe that's how we should all make our videos, is unwatchable on YouTube. Um, but then we also have to have a good place to post videos, which me and Piero did talk about last night, but I'll get to that later. Anyway, yes, yeah, stick am last night. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it was a good night. It, I rolled right along. It looks like that document guy didn't record any of it, so that's bad because my batteries were all fucked up and I didn't get all of it off for an MP3 either, and some of it was really quite uh, good. It, but that's always what they say, right? Oh, yeah, well, the stuff we missed, yeah, we didn't film. That was the really best part of the movie. But the other camera broke, and you know the best part of the movie got left out. Um, anyway, can't sit at the door. I mean, I really can't go let the cat in, can I? Well, I better let the cat in, because everybody get mad at me if I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Okay. I hope you use that time constructively. I mean, here you had that nice pause to think and reflect. Um, you know, so I hope you made the most of it. Anyway, where was I? Okay, stick ham. Yeah. Um, yeah oh, yeah. So some of the subjects were oh, in good condition. Um, were uh, kind of stupid, but you know, they're always those little thought experiment things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so yeah. So the night started with me posing the question: Where is my foreskin now? Um, you know, the atoms of the foreskin, you know, just the idea of following and tracing things through their, their migration through stuff, you know, and they could be right at the tip of your nose right now. That's right. Seven degrees of separation between me and my foreskin. Anyway, um, I, I know it's a stupid subject, but it's thought provoking, I think. Provoke thoughts for me anyway. I was provoked to talk about it, which makes it well, okay, never mind. Um, Whitney Houston died. Who dat? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, no, sorry, but yeah, well, stupid is as stupid does, I guess, right? Uh, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, so, yeah, what else I got to mention? Oh, what's her name, chick? <laughs> yeah, the what's her name, chick was there. And she's just, she's got this charming little smile, and she's just so endearing. She gives you that little feel-good feeling kind of thing. You know, it's one of those kind of people. She just makes you feel good. And, um, so i got to mention her. And, uh, you know, what's her name? Sort of look-alike chick was also there. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. Some chicks, anyway. Um, Samari, you know, she's, I guess she's mad at me or whatever. So, miss you, but, you know, miss you, but. That would be a good song. Miss you, but, you know, but, you know, whatever. Can't do much about that. Um, yeah, let's see. Boo Boo was in the room. Um, she's still feeling under the weathery kind of thing, so, you know, I feel bad. But, you know, she didn't detail anything, which is probably good because it would probably just made me all creepy. Um, so, but, you know, feel better and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see who else. I don't know, some kind of guy. Oh, yeah, the Adam guy, Adam XX guy. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been a regular lately, and, uh, you know, he's a good filler. You know, it's like, um, you know, stuff you mix in with other stuff to make it thick or something. He's a good thickener. Um, so, yeah, I really do appreciate his uh, support, his help in making the whole pie cure properly. Uh, yeah, good enough. 
Um, so yeah, your beach was in there. Really annoying. We're talking about the economy. You just kept calling everybody a commie and a socialist and saying, "I don't mean you're a communist like a communist. I mean you're a communist like a communist." Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, just drunk talk. Um, but yeah, stick him. You got to put up with some of that shit. Uh, Piero was there, but you know he's, he's had tragedy in his life, which he deserved. I have to admit. I mean, I'm sad that it happened to the cat. I mean, the tragedy should he should get run over by a car and say, "Oh shit, life does suck after all." But yeah, I mean, his cat got killed. This little kitten, you know. So, and uh, you know that just does you know just does kind of give you that. Oh man, you know your eyeballs kind of fall down and you just go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's like instant pneumonia. <laughs> you know, it just really is. It's just, uh, God, it sucks. Anyway, um, so, yeah, but we, we still managed through it. He was a brave little engine that could. Did his little Sificus thing and rolled his boulder up the hill. And so we did a little business um, talking about the future of the Internet once we take control. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was, you know, we got some more work done. We're still not at the go, not ready to press the go button, but we're getting close. Um, so let's see, where else were we? Um, uh, let's see, what the hell is this? Good morning. I don't know. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Oh, the morning. Yeah, it was good in the morning. Some some there was some young guy in there. I can't remember his name. Blah 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 blah. And um, you know, we talked for a couple hours. Economy went through the whole, you know different stuff, and it was good. He was good for conversation. Intelligent guy. Blah blah blah. Worked out quite well. And yeah, so that was good. And um, all right, let's see what else. There's probably stuff, but yeah, I appreciate people showing up. Um, and. Uh, yeah, you know, do the best I can, kind of thing. Uh, stay till like nine o'clock in the morning. So you know, I did my job, and uh, you know, I sat in my chair and my, you know, words talking, blah blah blah, for nine hours. You know, it's work. Anyway, so going to the rest of the atheist community, the big story, I suppose, is the T.J. controversy thingy, whatever. Related to the Coughlin thing, I saw Coughlin did a blog TV. Uh, I didn't get there; just it was after Stickham. I can't really do that. Um, too exhausted. Um, but you know, there was you know videos have been you know YouTube take, took down videos that just stupid. You know, there's a TJ video on Christianity. Nothing wrong with that video. Bullshit that's taken down. Coughlin video taken down because he's bragging on TJ and his little the little trolls go out and take down the shit. That's bullshit. Um, but the, you know the whole controversy underneath it all is this whole the psychology of this whole internet and the people who run it and the people who run it are you know 12 years old. I mean there's you know the nasty capitalists who own YouTube and then there's the 12 year olds who YouTube is selling shit to, and um, you know who else is clicking these inane ads? I mean come on these ads are inane, um, <laughs> you know and. You know, it's the the movie going audience type ads. You can see it all over the place. There aren't ads for like, you know, brain enhancers. There are you know penis enhancers. I mean, come on, it's 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 a shit audience, and uh, that's just unfortunate. We're on a shit audience medium. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, TJ just being TJ thing is just so obvious. I mean, this is old, 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 old news, um, in a way, and. Um, there's not much you can you, know, you can complain about and say, gee, people don't be stupid fucks, but there's no point. I can I can yell at the March on Wall Street guys and say, hey, you're being assholes because guess what? To change the world, you actually have to run candidates in elections. Yeah, I don't want to burst your bubble, but that's kind of how the world works. And your little marchy thing doesn't add up to shit. <laughs> you know, I mean, it really is a waste of freaking time. Um, you know, I mean, Farrakhan had a, a million man, a million black man march to Washington. What the hell was accomplished? They dented the grass. I mean, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Um, and TJ's stupid and pointless. I mean, he's, any assets he has, and he does have assets, he's, he's clever and he's, um, you know, he does have a certain charisma thing. You're just saying, what is that thing going to do next? 
so you watch it you know <laughs> you know it's like some kind of hideous it's like the elephant man you know if he walks down the street you're going to take a look and maybe I'm the same thing in a way I'm just a train wreck and people watch because they want to watch train wrecks but whatever I mean I'd rather you don't do that if you're just watching the the wreck part of me then yeah go somewhere else watch some other wreck um I really you know I don't need the boost <laughs> the negative boost um not my agenda really um but yeah, so it gets to this whole style over substance thing. Professor Anton just made a video kind of whining about it again, uh, you know, which is okay, but he always has this, it's this innuendo sort of thing like, I'm doing it right. What's wrong with you, fucked hearts? And like, can't we all say that? I mean, you know, even, you know, from my perspective, looking at Corey's videos, I mean, I'm like, what the fuck are you, t most it's all noise. You know, the noise over signal is a preposterously silly ratio. I mean, you know, you're doing this touchy-feely philosophy stuff that I think is just nothing close to what the human race needs. It needs a good, solid punch in the face. I mean, these little 12-year-old twats need to be kicked in the nuts. Um, you know, and, and you know, so what, what can I say there? I mean, it's the audience that needs their asses kicked, not TJ. <laughs> you know, uh, just like it's the, it's the idiots who you know, vote for Obama that need their, 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 their to be slapped around. Um, I mean, this time, anyway. Um, I mean, the first time, yeah, fool me once, you know, my bad. Fool me 15 times, you know. Well, fool me once, you're bad. Yeah, fool me 15 times, my bad. Um, but anyway, um, so where else am I? Uh... Let's see. Yeah, it's just the unsolution problem, you know. I mean, what is it? What's we we just can't tell the difference between a real solution and a wrong solution, um, and and it's the uh, asset to liability thing, the noise to signal thing. I mean, you can just make all these little metaphors for the the fundamental problem, which is this idea of communication and what should you compromise for it. Um, I mean, I find ad, you know, Corey puts ads on his videos now and then, and even Derived Energy has ads on his videos now. And I just find that a little bit ew. I mean, what the fuck? How much are you making? 25 cents? <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, fuck that shit. Um, you know, it, it just, you know, <clears throat> there's all these things that compromise our effectiveness, and so people will argue that my attitude compromises my effectiveness, so I'm doing it wrong. Um, that there's too much this, this whatever, my personality, not enough of the, the philosophy, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm I, I'm vulnerable to the same critique, and I accept that. Let's see if I can get one more hit out of this thing. Ooh, a flaming hit. Oh, that was good, though. You need some dioxin in the morning. Ah, uh, well, it's actually afternoon, technically. So I'm way fucking behind. Because <laughs> I was up all night. Um, arguing with the world. Um, so yeah, this whole idea of what the right way, what's the wrong way to do it, it's tricky. I haven't found the road map yet. I'm still, you know, walking around in circles saying, where's the map? You know, how do you, how do you work this YouTube thing? How do you work this audience? How do you play the game? And how do you play it without automatically compromising yourself? I mean, as soon as you start bullshit and as soon as you start playing the game, then you're playing a game, right? So you're already noising your own signal and, uh, pretty soon the only thing you can sell is noise and the signal is you know where'd that go and I don't want to end up there so it's, it's just a tricky line to navigate and um, you know I think there's you know we're all trying different ways to navigate it but and some of them are just I think just dead ends I mean like the Wall Street thing like the TJ producer website I mean the whole thing is kind of just silly all he's just saying is is you know give me a box that makes me money so yeah, you can buy one at Amazon, <laughs> you can buy this box, and it makes money if you push the buttons right, or some kind of silly thing like that. So he's going to try to find a way to make money sitting on his ass off other people, because he's comfortable doing that. He's comfortable making money off other people's art. And um, he'll call himself you know, an entrepreneur or a provider or uh, he'll, he'll say he's adding value somehow because he went, I like that, I think that sucks. And so then he'll say, a job well done. I opined on the subject, pay me. Um, you know, <laughs> and it's, that's all we're looking at here, right? It's not that complicated. 
and we all could be potentially seduced by um, the opportunity to play the game that way. I mean, you know, I would hope to have enough integrity to say, nah, that just doesn't smell right, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, and, and the irony is too, I mean, you just look at the, 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 the just the way it works. I mean, a year ago, he couldn't have gotten $20,000, so the more he's a crook, the more he can crook. I mean, the next time, he'll probably only get 50 grand. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, this would be some kind of principle thing, like where people are just going to be so desperate to defend the, the TJ idea, the idea of TJ. Look how desperately people defend their God when that jig is so freaking up. I mean, it's the more the jig is up, the more desperate the defenders get. So it's almost like TJ knows that. He says, well, you know, the more, the more preposterous my, my proposal becomes, the more the idiots will defend it and support it because they have to make me end up win, you know, because I'm their home team. And there's a huge advantage to being the home team, you know. So, I mean, that's what the game is. Or whatever. We know it's psychology going on here. There's all this fucking psychology. All right, and instead, instead of talking about the reality of being a replicating DNA molecule on planet Earth and what the fuck that means, I mean, it sort of has huge implications that we're just the manifestation of four billion years of um, biological evolution. Uh, no, instead of dealing with that, um, yeah, we're just doing all this psychology crap, all this hurt feelings crap, all this, I'm better than you, and, you know, I, I'm taller than you, and I'm better looking than you, and I'm... I look kick-ass in high contrast than you <laughs> kick assier. Um Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, it's pretty pitiful. It's pretty pitiful. It's pitiful. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess there's not much else other than just put Karina down because, I don't know, hopefully she didn't get run over. I haven't heard anything. But I don't go out trying to find out anything either, which is kind of lame on my part. Um... I would assume she's okay. People must have been in contact with her, I would imagine, because somebody would, should be hysterical by now. Oh, uh, where, oh, where could my Karina be? Where, oh, where could it be? Um, you know, it's just worrisome. But her laptop probably blew up. You know, the cat stepped on or found a bird and fell on it or shit on it or something or whatever happened. And so, yeah, it's just taking time. She has to send it back and then they have to send it back to her or some kind of bullshit like that. <sighs> or, you know, there could be some kind of real life crap, you know. Ooh, that's no good. It's probably nothing good. I guess that's the bottom line, and that's just a discouraging also. Everything is just discouraging and disappointing and irritating. Damn it. It seems like the only flavor life comes in is disappointing and irritating. Jesus. Well, at least it has disappointing and irritating sprinkles on it, even when it's reasonably edible. <laughs> you know, it's somebody always ends up throwing some kind of shit into the pot somewhere. There's always a nail in there somewhere. Alright. Oh, yeah, I guess I should mention videos that I've done. I did some good videos, so I just should mention the fucking things. And, um, you know, hopefully me and Piro will get this new website-y thing off the ground eventually, and then you'll have somewhere else to go, and... I mean, I'm trying to migrate my content. I mean, 80% of or so of my videos I am putting on the website. So I think that's, I'm making an effort to migrate off of YouTube. And so I think that's good of me, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know if you can see this I camera angle thingy. All right, so I did this response. This is a long video, almost an hour, to just a really, you know, a small time YouTuber guy just talking about antinatalism. And I was polite through most of it. I mean, at the end, I got a little frustrated, but, you know, it was a pretty good video. This Great Text video, uh, Walk and Talk, it was actually, I think it was kind of funny. So, I mean, I think it was worth a watch. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And then, I, the, yeah, the whole Samari thing, that was just, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, I'm just unfortunate that, uh, personality conflict thing or whatever the fuck it is. Um, I don't get you kind of thing, and I just, I just don't, I just don't get it. But whatever. Um, conversation with Nick was sort of interesting. I don't know if it's dead now, but it's, you know, it's sort of at a, you know, I mean, I, you know, 
I, I have to make up his part because he doesn't necessarily always show up to do his part of the argument. Um, but yeah, I think I've left off here with the, basically just making the statement that you really, you really can't do the story of the human brain if you're not going to deal with the problem of sentience, <clears throat> the, the problem of the fact that we um, do experience this um, consciousness thing. And it, you just can't wipe away the significance of the fact that we are conscious and our brain establishes ideas like good and bad and positive and negative through sensation, through creating some kind of, you know, knife and sticking it into an ass kind of thing. It creates some sort of real harm that we experience consciously to create the idea of good and bad. It's not just an idea of good and bad that are in our heads. We don't just have an idea like, my brain says that is bad and bad has been established to be bad. Um, no, I mean, it. we feel it. it, it it crushes us right in the balls. I mean, it, it gets us where we live, so to speak, this consciousness thing. So I don't see any point in talking about how the brain works, you know, without dealing with this phenomenon that's screaming the fuck out of it. That's, you know, that is its major feature. I mean, yes, its major feature is it does make us move through the environment, but that's almost secondary in terms of any kind of significance to the fact that we are feeling as we're moving. I mean, that's the real game. That's the only game in town, is this experiential game. We are experientially. I mean, what I do in my sleep, if I walked in my sleep, you know how much I wouldn't give a damn? I mean, if I don't have any recollection of it, if I'm not conscious while I'm doing it, who the fuck cares? Um, this doesn't mean a damn thing. All right, so you know whatever some links below um yeah I, I think that's enough yeah i you're probably agreed that if that's enough this is all like <clears throat> my pyro notes you know for the new website so i have been working on it and i got i got some plans i'm organizing just so much to do <laughs> and yeah it's like i gotta do it all it seems it seems like there's just nobody else doing much work here but uh, too bad. Doesn't really matter. I'll do what I have to do. That's what I just keep doing. I mean, I just I, I don't know any. I don't know what else. You know. <clears throat> I mean, we can all lament the circumstance, but all we got is the is the the, the pond we're in, the shitty boat, the crooked oars. <laughs> you know, this is all we got. So, you know, do the best we can with what we got. And enough of a video now, for sure.